Gear one. Clutch is like a switch that you use to disconnect and connect to the wheel. When you press the clutch, the wheel disconnects. When you leave the clutch, the wheel connects to the engine. So, the way and manner you leave the clutch determine if the car will move or off. So, this is how you will leave the clutch and gauge it. This gauging, clutch gauging. If you don't know this, your car will off or it will jack. So, concentrate on this this gauging your clutch so anytime you release this the engine connects to the wheel anytime you press it down the engine disconnects to the wheel that's transmission connect and disconnect so you practice this as often as you can to master it is the main problem that people face when they want to drive a manual car. So once you know this very well, even without throttling the car, the car will move. So when you leave the clutch, the car roll. This one is very important. If your car is on the slopey ground, this is how you will move. Probably on a hold up where there is car in your front and your back. In order not to run, roll over a car or jam a car in your front or back, this is the method you will use. Pull your clutch and brake together. Release the clutch till you feel a vibration, then you leave the brake, the car moves. You throttle the car, pull your brake and clutch. You leave the clutch a bit till you feel a vibration, you leave the brake, the car moves. Then you accelerate. Again I repeat, pull your brake and clutch. Release the clutch a bit you feel a vibration then you leave the brake the car moves you throttle the car a bit if you don't know this your car will roll back and jam another car or roll front when your car is on a slopey it's how you you move with your brake you leave the clutch a bit, you leave the brake, you can move. The vibration you feel is when the clutch disc is touching the clutch plate. 